Welcome back. Another short video here on two different permissions. We're on the dairy farm and of course on the arable farm. Quick zero check as per every visit. This is how I find if there's any issues with the rangefinder or if I'm just being somewhat retarded with my shots. These shots are from around about March, April 22. They've been on the laptop a while, just didn't get a chance to put them together into a film. These youngsters are good cannon fodder. Shooting with a 2-2. This is sub-12, remember? But they don't have to take a wallop. And the 2-2 is still a small round when you compare it against the 2-5 or the dirty 30. But I suppose when you're the size of a mouse and you've got that sort of velocity, <laughs> it's going to hurt. Hello. Oh, that's got a smart. Punched both his eyeballs out with the JSB. They feel safe down this rocky area because they can kind of stick their head out and if any predators come past, they can duck away again. Providing, of course, the predator doesn't have a night side scope. You see the huge line of spilt grain there? This is what they're coming down for. So I'll just give him 13.43 grain of JSB heavy. 38 yard shot here. Good solid smack knocks him down. I do try and take all the shots for videos anyway between kind of 10 and 20 yards because you get a nice close up image of the situation and the kill. Which leads me on to something I want to say. Something that really chaps my ass about these expert armchair hunters. The people that leave comments and complain about the wobble when you're taking the shot. For their benefit I'm going to explain. I've got a 5 times base magnification scope which gives me a certain amount of magnification and allows me to get the shot so far into the screen. When I'm doing longer shots beyond 20 yards, 30, 40, 50 yards, I need to zoom in. And when you zoom in, the slightest movement on your shooting sticks or your bipod equates to a massive movement further down range. So the wobble there is to allow me to get the shot on screen for the enjoyment of those watching. Sorry not sorry for the break and shooting. I just wanted to give you a heads up and keep a look out for the beautiful new look Airgun Toolkit from ARPC. It's got a revamped UI, more features, converters, calculators, data sets, links and some charting. Everything you're going to need is an air gunner and a shooter. By far the best new feature is the ballistics calculator. Similar to Chairgun Pro and similar to the technology used in ATN and PARD, you enter your basic ballistic data, will calculate your pellet velocity, highlight your kill zone and chart your pellet performance over distance. Available soon for Android on Google Play. Back into the shooting and we've got a beady little eye or two in the undergrowth. Let's see if we can pop those out. It's amazing how quick the weeds and the undergrowth bounce back as soon as spring comes around. Perfect cover for the scaly tails. This one comes out in the open, spot them straight away on the thermal. So let's break a skull. I put the thermal against the rifle here and I look around, which is why it's all blurry. Apologies for that. Spot this one in the undergrowth right in front of me. Six yards, how he didn't smell my hairy beanbag and do a runner, I've no idea. Although looking at him, you can smell something. Didn't smell that though, did ya? Just dropped his brains into his stomach, where they will stay. Really pleased with that one actually, up close. Nice clean kill. Look at that, helicopter tail, he's a goner. This is a classic example of how you've got to be patient when you're air gunning. Now, I want to try and get a headshot, but he's fidgeting and moving around a lot. So I take a shot, miss. I take a second shot, miss. Each time he's fidgeting and pulling his head around. He doesn't move though, he must just hear the pellet go underneath him. So I'm just going to hang back, wait he settles a little bit, and then get the shot down. When you watch rat shooting videos, a lot of them don't actually show, and me included, don't show some of the build up and the waiting around before you get the shots in as it can be quite boring to watch but it's part of the rat shooting experience no 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 nesting in the straw not allowed this is the main storage area on the arable farm 
a lot of pallets, some machinery, lots of other bits and pieces. Perfect little nesting spots. Gives them some overhead cover, protect them from predators such as owls, etc., and maybe even foxes. And then they're buried down under the ground into the nest. It's quite a good little shooting area, to be honest. Plenty of them about. There's a lot of spill grain around, which is why they're coming in from the fields. It's just a free for all. Not sure on a headshot, so go for high body shot. Just as good a kill. Runs straight off, expires, bleeds out, and toes up. Not a bad size either, actually. Back to the main storage area. This is one of my favourite shots. Good solid headshot there. Landed hard. Watch this. It really wants people to know he's dying. Watch the rats run off in the background. He scared them off, hasn't he? Now the helicopter tail that you're seeing, the spinning of the tail and the back legs kicking out, that is a nervous reaction to the brain death. That's called disinhibition. That rat is dead. This is the nerves firing, which is actually kicking and propelling them about. I think the second shot goes straight through the spine, so that kills everything dead. One of the most dramatic and elaborate deaths I've seen. Well, he scared the rest of the rats off anyway, so I go for a little mooch. <laughs> he couldn't get away fast enough, he was like Speedy Gonzalez. Stop this for game of soldiers, I'm out of here. High body shot for this one. Right in the boiler room. So this is what I'm talking about when you see them hiding under pallets. They've got a roof above them and they feel safe, but obviously when you've got an air gun, you can get a nice horizontal shot in underneath, no problem. you got this one here, having a cheeky drink, with the help of a GSB pellet, he's in the drink. Okay, come with me to the dairy farm. A few rats kicking around, especially around the machinery when it comes in from being out in the fields. Engine's nice and warm, somewhere nice and snug to settle down. Underneath the cattle barn, one of the feeders. This cheeky little monkey. Oh, I love you, right in the brain box. Fill your head with a lot of lead. Dirty little skank, giving himself a clean up. FFS. Watch what happened. Boom, the pellet hit the top of the gate, ricocheted up, and the rat got away. This one wasn't so lucky. Split his noggin straight down the middle. <laughs> and he kindly kicks himself out for me to collect. Beautiful. <laughs> I love these shots. <laughs> The staring straight at you playing chicken. <laughs> I win. <laughs> what do you think's gonna happen? <laughs> oh, sorry, it's not funny. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, it is. It is funny. <laughs> this little bugger, though. I standing up. I commit to the shot, and he ducks. So I think that's a miss. I'll hold my hand up and say that's a miss. Oi, that's 
not yours. That'll learn you. Hey, thanks for watching. 